Maybe you didn't know this, but your VPS plan from Hostinger actually includes an AI assistant that's going to help you with suggestions and solving errors. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? Yes, Hostinger does have a free AI assistant that you can use right now, and it's included in the VPS plans. So check this out. If you jump over to their site, link in the description, jump in over to Hosting, VPS Hosting. If you scroll down here, you're going to view their VPS plans. You can see that they have AI assistant. So if you're not using it, take advantage of it. If you're going to grab a VPS plan, do use this. It's going to help you out a lot. Now, if you want to grab one of their plans, there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you. So if you add this one, which is the most popular one, it's going to take you over to your cart. So grab, obviously, the 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and you're going to lock in the lowest renewal price also. So you can see this is the amount right now as of this video. If you apply your coupon code, which is SASMaster, it's going to lower to $150 with 98 cents. So you lock in those 24 months. Now, let's jump over to my Hostinger plan right here. So this is my Hostinger panel, and this is where I have my shared hosting, my BPS plans, etc. And to view your BPS, they're going to be down here. BPS, I have two of them right now, and I'm going to click on Manage, and I'm going to take you to the AI Assistant. So if you go over to Help, this is the AI Assistant. So if you haven't found that out, Take advantage of it, okay? And it's going to take you over to this AI Assistant. Now, the cool part about this is going to, it's going to help you with suggestions and it's going to help you solve errors. So let's just say that I have a WordPress site that actually broke down and I need some ideas on how to fix it. So let me go ahead and ask it. Okay, so this is what I wrote right now. How do I fix a WordPress site that I can't access due to the plugin I just updated? So that means that if I updated a plugin and it broke my site, well, what the heck, heck should I do? Now, I can go ahead and search around all over the web and find different results, etc. But the AI Assistant is going to help me with this. So let's wait for the results. Okay, here we go. We got the results right here. And these are really advanced results that you wouldn't get somewhere else. Now, the good, th good thing about the AI Assistant is that it practically has all the database that Hostinger has for help files, plus their AI ability to help you with this. So here we go. We got the results for this. And one of the things that is that I like about this is that it actually knows your IP. So it's going to help you with those areas. You don't have to figure out things. So this is a result for fixing this particular error. Now I'm going to ask it if I can actually do this from the file manager. So there we go. We just got the results. So yes, log into your BPS, navigate to file manager. So depending on the BPS that I'm using, okay? So basically I am getting results with the AI assistant. Now, can we go further than this? Yes, we can. Let me go ahead and refresh this AI assistant. And let me show you hypothetically, for example, can it help me understand what would be the best operating system for a WordPress site, for example? Okay, so I just asked a mixed question with the best uh, operating system for a BPS on a WordPress site and also for a PHP site. So let's see what it tells us. Okay, so we just got the results. And in this case, it's giving us the result of Ubuntu 22.04, which would be the best option for this. It would be for the WordPress side and also for the PHP side for both Ubuntu. All right, so good option. Now, how do I install a BPS on cPanel? So that's a pretty complex question because it will vary and it will be a bit complex, but let's see what results we get. Here we go. We got the results and here it is. We got all the details right here so we can go ahead and install it and follow this up. Now, if I want to ask it, what is my IP for the BPS? Let's go ahead and ask it right now. Okay, here we go. We just got the results. Based on the information provided, the IP address is this one right here. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's go into the overview. And yes, confirm. This is the IP address from my BPS. So it's really handy to use this AI assistant to get suggestions and to get help results with uh, problems you might encounter. So basically take advantage of it. It's free to use. So if you have a BPS plan, start using it right away. And basically check it out and don't forget to use the coupon code provided here in the description. And that's a wrap.